find me the reasons why it's failure. Wait, um, can I read that again? Uh, okay. I did you say the okay. So the historical reason for its failure is the Michelson Morley experiment. As you probably know, most waves need to have a medium. For example, sand has to have a medium, or water waves have to have a medium. Almost everything has to have a medium. So when light was first proposed to be a wave from the double slit experiment's results, when light was first proposed to be a wave, people said, well, if light is a wave, light has to have a medium too. So they proposed this medium, which they couldn't see, as the ether. But here was the problem. The Michelson-Morley experiment was an experiment that took light and forced it to essentially go in two different paths. So it had it split into two different rays and then get reflected to converge back into the same ray. So what did the Michelson-Morley experiment actually do? Well, it's kind of like having a, two people walk through the same course. One of them has to go this way and then that way, and the other has to go that way and then this way. And then seeing if they both take the same exact amount of time, because they travel the same exact amount of distance. And if the ether existed, then one of them has to lag behind. Because the ether's motion must affect its motion. But if the ether didn't exist, then both will take the same time. So they were trying to measure if the ether existed or not. If the ether didn't exist, they would get a giant blip that would signify both of the light rays converging at once. But if the ether did exist, then they would get two little blips signifying one taken longer than the other. And of course, the result they got was the giant one, which signified that nothing was holding back one light ray that went a different path that was the same distance. And so either the ether didn't exist or it had so little influence that it might as well not exist.